I'm gonna scratch the pronunciation of all of these. The sternoclidomastoid. Sternoclidomastoid. Origin, sternum, clavicle, insertion, the mastoid process. Erectus abdominis. Origin, pubic crest and pubic symphysis. Insertion, the exiphoid process, and costal cartilages five through seven. Iliosis. Origin, iliacus. Iliac fossa and crest and the sacrum. PSOAS major, T12 through L5. Insertion, lesser trochanter of the femur. Iliosis. Origin. Iliac. Mm. This one is really getting to me. Iliosis. Origin. Iliacus. Iliac fossa and crest. Crest. Sacrum. PSOAS major. T12 through L5. And insertion. Lesser trochanter of the femur. Pectoralis minor. Origin. Ribs 3 through 5. Insertion. Coracoid process. Serratus anterior. Origin. Ribs 1 through 8. Insertion. Vertebral border of scapula. Deltoid. Origin. Anterior, middle, and posterior fibers. Anterior, clavicle, middle, acromion of scapula, posterior, spine of scapula. Insertion. Deltoid tuberosity. That one's annoying. Pectoralis major. Clavicle, sternum, ribs one through seven, external oblique aponeurosis, insertion, intertubercular groove, sulcus. Take two, pectoralis major, clavicle, sternum, ribs one through seven, external oblique aponeurosis, and insertion, intertubercular groove, sulcus. You know it's getting ridiculous when you say biceps break eye, but you say briceps break eye. I'm just mixing everything together. Biceps break eye, long head, glenoid fossa, superior lip, short head, coracoid process, and scapula. Insertion, radial tuberosity. I'm gonna have to take two on that one. Take two. Biceps break eye. Long head, glenoid fossa, superior lip, short head, scapula, coracoid process. Insertion, radial tuberosity. Take three, because I still don't remember this one. Biceps break eye. Long head, glenoid fossa, superior lip, short head, coracoid process, and scapula. Insertion, radial tuberosity. Got it. Take four. Bicep break eye, long head, glenoid fossa, superior lip, short head, coracoid process, and scapula, insertion, radial tuberosity. Apparently, there's also a triceps break eye. Triceps break eye, glenoid fossa, inferior lip. Oh, wait. Sorry. Triceps break eye, long head, glenoid fossa, inferior lip, lateral head, posterior humerus, medial head. Posterior and medial humerus. Insertion, olecranon. Taking it too. Triceps break eye. Origin. Long head, glenoid fossa, inferior lip, lateral head, posterior humerus, medial head, posterior and medial humerus. Insertion, olecranon. Okay, take three on triceps break eye. Origin, long head, glenoid fossa, inferior lip, lateral head, posterior humerus, medial head, posterior and medial humerus, insertion, olecranon. Take four, I'm going to look you in the eyes for this one. Triceps break eye, origin, long head, glenoid fossa, inferior lip, lateral head, posterior humerus, medial head, posterior and medial humerus, insertion, Old crane on. Got it. I'm kind of going nuts a little bit. But it's okay. Just gonna keep on smiling. Sartorius. I kind of like that. It sounds pretty. Sartorius. Origin. Anterior superior iliac spine. Insertion. Proximal media tibia. Take two. Take two. 
sartorius origin anterior superior iliac spine and insertion proximal medial tibia this is hard pretty but hard sartorius anterior superior iliac spine origin and insertion proximal medial tibia my butt hurts i actually went to the gym this morning and i haven't showered yet but it's because i started studying and i'm gonna lose all motivation if i stop rectus femoris origin anterior inferior iliac spine insertion patella tibial tuberosity take two rectus femoris origin anterior inferior iliac spine insertion patella and tibial tuberosity yes. biceps femoris origin long head ischial tuberosity short head linea aspera insertion lateral tibial condyle and head of fibula definitely take them two biceps femoris origin long head ischial tuberosity short head linea aspera insertion lateral condyle lateral tibial condyle and head of fibula okay biceps femoris origin long head ischial tuberosity short head linea aspera insertion lateral lateral tibial condyle and head of femur head of fibula again biceps femoris origin long head ischial tuberosity short head linea aspera insertion lateral tibial condyle and head of fibula Don't do that again. Okay, recap of the biceps femoris. Origin, long head, ischial tuberosity, short head, linea aspera, insertion, lateral tibial condyle, and head of fibula. Yes, okay, next. Semitendinosis. Ooh, that's pretty. Semitendinosis. Origin, ischial tuberosity, and insertion, medial surface of proximal tibia. Semitendinosis. Origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion. Still don't remember. Semitendinosis. Origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion, medial surface of proximal tibia. Medial surface of proximal tibia. Medial surface of proximal tibia. Semitendinosis, origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion, medial surface of ischial tuberosity. No. Oh my God, bro. No. Semitendinosis, origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion, proximal surface of medial tibia? No, medial surface of proximal tibia. Semitendinosis, origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion, medial surface of proximal tibia. Recap of semitendinosis. Origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion, medial surface of proximal tibia. Semitendinosis. Origin, ischial tuberosity, insertion, medial surface of proximal tibia. Semimembranosis. This one is also really pretty. Origin, also the ischial tuberosity, insertion, medial tibial condyle. That was easy.
And then just to remember the semitendinosus um, insertion, it was medial surface of proximal tibia. Yeah, that was right. Again, semitendinosus origin was also ischial tuberosity. Insertion was medial tibial condyle. Medial tibial condyle. Semimembranosus, medial tibial condyle. Gluteus maximus origin. Sacrum coccyx posterior ilium. Insertion gluteal tuberosity of femur and iliotibial tract take two maybe three four five gluteus maximus origin sacrum coccyx and posterior ilium insertion gluteal tuberosity of femur and iliotibial tract this one's hard <laughs> okay gluteus maximus origin Ilium, take like 20. Gluteus maximus, origin, posterior ilium, coccyx, and sacrum. Insertion, gluteal tuberosity of femur and iliotibial tract. Mm. Recap on gluteus maximus. Origin, posterior ilium, coccyx, and sacrum. Insertion, Gluteal tuberosity of femur and iliotibial tract. Got it. <laughs> Vastus lateralis. Origin, intertrochanteric line and greater trochanter. And insertion. Take two. Vastus lateralis. Origin, intertrochanteric line and greater trochanter. And insertion, patella and tibial tuberosity. I got it. Okay, recap of... Uh, <laughs> recap of vastus lateralis. Origin, intertrochanteric line and greater trochanter. Insertion, tibial tuberosity, and patella. I kind of on the fence. Vastus lateralis. Origin, intertrochanteric line and greater trochanter. Insertion, tibial tuberosity, and patella. Okay, now it's vastus medialis is intertrochanteric line and linea aspera for the origin. And the insertion is also the patella and the tibial tuberosity. Yes. Okay, going over that again. Vastus medialis is intertrochanteric line and linea aspera for the origin. And the insertion is, again, the patella and tibial tuberosity. So it's similar to the vastus lateralis which is the greater trochanter and intertrochanteric line for origin and the insertion patella and tibial tuberosity now we have the vastus intermedius which is a little deeper origin anterior and lateral diaphysis of the femur insertion again patella and tibial tuberosity vastus intermedius origin just had it vastus um vastus intermedius anterior and lateral diaphysis of the femur that's the origin and insertion is patella and tibial tuberosity and the last one gastrocnemius origin i don't remember gastrocnemius origin medial and lateral femoral condyles insertion calcaneus take 20 gastrocnemius origin medial and lateral condyles <laughs> gastrocnemius origin medial and lateral femoral condyles insertion calcaneus a recap of gastrocnemius Origin, medial and lateral femoral condyles. Insertion, calcaneus. By. I gotta go repeat this, like, way too many times. <laughs>